Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology of your life. Year end has come and that's why I've got this bottle of champagne because we're celebrating a difficult but another year where uh, we can move forward on to the next year. Now when it comes to your year end checklist, one of the things that you need to check is what is going on with your technology. Let me move that bottle of champagne out of the way, it's kind of empty, but nonetheless it's in the way but it's important for you to understand what's going on with your technology and making sure that you do a quick checklist to make sure that you're using your technology more effectively sometimes with technology people make it a little bit more difficult than it has to be and so it's very important that you understand what things you should be doing with all of your tech items to make sure that you are using them properly and that you will have greater success with those tech items in the new year and of course less problems. So let's get started with some of the things that you need to be checking off on your list as far as your technology uh, before the new year. So number one is you need to stop worrying about running maintenance scans for your devices. Now maintenance, maintenance scans uh, involve antivirus software, software that's used to scan your, your computer or your devices to find quote unquote problems. But truth be told, all of your tech devices are designed to take care of themselves. It doesn't matter if you're running a Windows computer or a Macintosh computer or even a smartphone or a tablet. These devices are designed to take care of themselves for the most part. Uh, if you enable automatic updates on Windows, Mac, Android, and iPhone, any security updates or anything will come down on their own. Same thing for antivirus software. If you're using some paid antivirus solution, you can definitely take that off of your computers and on all of your tech devices. That's right, you heard me right. You can take off that antivirus solution on your tech devices because you really don't need it. I've said this in multiple tech tips before, but 99% of cybercrime requires user interaction. So that essentially means, and let me break it down for you, that every tech device that you own, if it's current, meaning that you've got a Windows 10 computer, a Mac OS running Mojave or Big Sur, you're using Android 10 and you're using iOS 14, those devices have the protection for 99% of the virus threats out there. Most people get scammed because they click on stuff and or they invite hackers into their computers because they fall, have fallen victim to a scam. scam. So it's important that those virus scans that your IT guy may have told you to run once a week or once a month or any of that stuff, you got to stop it because those devices are constantly monitoring your devices if you have it installed. Um, if you've got a Macintosh computer, you've got uh, Xprotect that is automatically scanning and protecting you from all of those threats. If you're a Windows user, you've got Windows Defender, which is doing the same thing. So there's really no need unless you invite something in to run a virus scan or any other utility program that is going to promise to remove viruses, that's going to pr promise to make sure that you've got the latest drivers and to make sure that you're cleaning out your cookies and cleaning up your registry. All of those programs usually cause more problems than good. So it's very important that you stop that nonsense and let your tech devices take care of themselves. There are other things that you need to concentrate on in order to make sure that your technology is running good. And one of those things is making sure your devices are backing up automatically. That's important because if you lost your phone or your computer or laptop went kaputs, how are you gonna get that information back? Now there's data recovery services that can try to retrieve information from devices like this or computers, but the problem is, is that those services are expensive. So you wanna get into a process of making sure that your items are backed up automatically all the time. So if you're using iCloud for your iOS device, make sure that you've got enough storage purchase so that it will back up all of your items from either your Apple desktop and laptop computers and your iPhones. Um, if you're a Windows user, you've got options like OneDrive or Google Drive, which also works on Macintosh and on Android phones, and make sure that those devices are backing up 
automatically. Find out for whatever device you're using how to verify that your files are on your devices. One thing or a quick tip that I can throw out there, if you've got an Amazon account, one of the things that you can enable on your smartphones, whether it be Android or Apple, is you can download Amazon Drive and Amazon Photos to those devices to make sure that they're backing up automatically. And I will say, if you don't understand what the word backup means, it's worth your money to have your favorite tech guy, hopefully us, come out and check your stuff to make sure that you are backing up properly. There are people that sometimes use external hard drives to back up their computers. Doesn't do it all the time because if you're using a laptop, what are the chances that you're going to take out your hard drive every time you use it and plug it into your laptop? It's not going to happen. So a good automatic cloud backup system will work. Another great tip for you, for you desktop or laptop users, whether you're a Windows or Mac user, Carbonite, which is a great online backup service, which can you can install on your computers will make sure that your devices are automatically backed up and they will keep that information for up to 30 days, not just 30 days worth of data, but it'll keep everything that you have saved on your device stored in the cloud for 30 days where you can go back and retrieve that information. So keep those, that tip in mind when it comes to checking your devices. So number three is my favorite and something that parents don't always do is to make sure that those parental control settings are still working on your kids devices. And that's important because kids are smart. So if they're messing with one of these or another gaming system, it's a good possibility they may have figured out how to get past the switch parental controls, or maybe you were lenient and you forgot to re-enable those parental controls and your kids are going somewhere they shouldn't go. Now, interesting thing, I had to point this out. Look how my monitor behind me went to sleep. Oh, look, I got it back. But anyway, that was one of those things that you forget to do is to change settings on the device, just like the automatic sleep mode is changed, changed on this Macintosh computer. So it's important to make sure that you're checking those settings to ensure that your kids aren't getting over you by making sure the parental controls are relaxed on whatever device that they are using for either education or for uh, game purposes. Uh, number four is to check your technology subscriptions. Now that's important because many of the products that we use are web-based and subscription-based, but sometimes we don't use those products anymore and the subscription is still being billed to our bank accounts and our credit cards. So if you're using a subscription service or were using a subscription service and you're no longer, no longer using that product, make sure you check your bank statements to see that you aren't being billed for that service. A customer that I personally had to go out to was being charged for Norton or a Symantec product four years after they had it installed on their computer. The automatic renewal system was set up in the Norton software so they were being continually charged for Norton, even though they hadn't had the product installed on their computer. So if you uninstall a program like Office 365, an antivirus program, anything that requires a yearly or monthly subscription, make sure that you're checking your bank statements to uh, ensure that you aren't being charged for those products. And it's an easy call to the company to get them to turn off automatic subscriptions on your account. You don't have to be tech savvy. It's just a matter of calling in, giving the email address that you were using for that account and verifying that you aren't being charged for that service. And I don't know why that screen popped up. You see that? That's just weird. Anyway, uh, our next tip, or before we go forward, one other thing we need to talk about is subscriptions is your cable service and your internet service. Many people don't realize that cable companies change all the time. And so what will happen is that if a, old, if a company sees that you're on an old plan, they will keep you on that old plan, which may be more expensive than what you should be paying for your cable or internet service. So call your cable company to make sure that you are bill, being billed 
what you should be billed for your cable bill. And if there's any better plans out there, make sure you switch to them. True story. It was a customer we went out to recently was paying almost double the amount for slower internet service. You can't believe that, but cable companies are that shifty. So it's important that you do your due diligence to make sure that your bills are correct with your cable company and also to make sure that your subscription services are correct and you're not being billed for stuff that you are no longer paying. Uh, so the fifth tip that I have is to extend the life of your current technology. Now it's important to understand that smartphones and tablets, you can definitely get a four to five year life out of those devices. It's not important or necessary for you to always go out and make sure that you get the latest and greatest device. These devices are designed to last a long time and it helps if you add extra protection like a case to your smartphone and to your tablet and even your computers. But smartphones and tablets, again, can last up to four to five years, sometimes even longer, depending on what you do. So to extend the life of your smartphone and tablet, be sure to get a case for that thing. So if you drop it, it will protect it. And also a glass screen protector is a good thing to get for these devices as well, so that you're not having to uh, rub your fingers on a cracked screen or having to pay extra to get a device that you are leasing in order to get it fixed so that you can get a return on your investment. The other thing you can do to extend the life of your current technology is if you don't have it for your computer, it might be time that you update your computer to a solid state hard drive. For you non-techies out there, this may be something over your head. So call your computer professional to have them check to make sure that you have a solid state hard drive for your device. Solid state hard drives are awesome for desktop and laptop computers because they have no moving parts, which means that your computer is able to quickly access information on your solid state hard drive, thereby making it run a lot faster than what your old standard mechanical drive will do. Solid state hard drives run anywhere from 70 to $120, and they are well worth the investment. You can even upgrade your computer, whether it be a desktop or laptop computer, Windows or Mac, to a solid state hard drive, and you can clone the information off of the solid or off of your old hard drive onto the solid state hard drive, which means that when you make that upgrade to the faster hard drive, you don't lose a beat because that information is made you make an exact duplicate of that information onto the solid state hard drive. So keep that in mind if you're running a laptop or desktop computer that's about five years old or older. That's usually the time hard drives fail on computers. So number six is get rid of that old technology. That's right, if you've got old devices laying around, it's time at the end of the year to possibly, I shouldn't really say possibly, it's time to get rid of those devices and throw them in the recycle bin and make sure that you either donate them to a loved one or a kid so that they can, uh, or a nonprofit organization so that they can use those and give those to people who have a need. You can re-gift it to a family member so that they can get more use out of it. Um, and you can even send it to a nice responsible recycler to make sure that those components don't wind up in a landfill and poison our land. It's important to uh, make sure that you recycle properly, but more importantly, it's making sure that you get rid of that old stuff. Now, before you get rid of any technology device, uh, you can... Um, check out our blog or my blog at either burtonkelso.com forward slash blog or call integralnow.com forward slash blog. We have an article telling you how to properly recycle your stuff. I will tell you this, that before you recycle anything, you want to make sure that you wipe the information off of those devices before you donate them. That way people aren't getting your personal information. But also, get rid of that clutter. It doesn't really make any sense to hold on to those items um, because sometimes it's just not worth it and they're not of any value. Now, some old stuff you may have is of value and if it is, sell it. Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Craigslist, you name it. Sell it, get rid of it. Just don't keep it around. 
Uh, our next tip is number seven, make sure those devices are automatically or updating automatically. Now, it's important that you, if you wanna keep your device up to date and safe from all of the latest bugs and virus threats out there, that you make sure that you've got automatic updates turned on your smartphone and on your computers and laptops. Automatic updates are handy because that way you don't accidentally fall off behind when it comes to those pesky updates you have to download. Uh, sometimes uh, if we have a device, we let it fall behind with the latest operating system and then all of a sudden we have a perfectly good device that won't work because we haven't updated the software on it. Now I'm talking to some of you Windows 7 users out there and even some of you Mac users that may be still using El Capitan or Sierra. Time to update those to the latest operating system. The same thing with your smartphone. Make sure that you make sure that those devices are updated automatically so that way one less thing for you have to worry about and it will cut out visits from people like myself to make sure that your tech devices are running the way they should. And my final and eighth tip is in the year might be a good time to update those passwords. Passwords are the things that are going to keep cyber criminals out of your stuff. Truth be told, your user login, logins and your passwords are probably sitting somewhere on the dark web. And so the, when you're sitting drinking eggnog and enjoying some of this bubbly uh, for the new year, you want to make sure that you are sitting down and taking the time to update those passwords. Probably one of the simplest ways to make sure that your passwords are up to date and safe is to use a password keeper so that you can go in one fell swoop and make sure that all of that stuff's updated. Now, there's a lot of tech guys out there that wouldn't agree with this, but probably one of the best things for you non-tech people to do is to make sure that your uh, web browser has the password information stored in it because it's easier to make sure that you've got different passwords for your online accounts then trying to write all that stuff down to keep track of it. So save them in your browser. If you're leery about saving them in Chrome, Opera, Firefox, Safari, you can download LastPass for free and use that as your password keeper. And then you can go in and update all of those passwords for all of your online accounts. Passwords are the way that cyber criminals are getting into your online accounts and getting hold of your emails and your passwords. Uh, make sure that you're not storing them in a subfolder in your email address and make sure that you uh, check every now and then on the dark web using Have I Been Toned to see if your email address and your passwords are sitting out on the internet. If they are, change them immediately. Uh, credential stuffing, which is the act of cyber criminals getting a hold of your online stuff, is rising in popularity and so it makes it easier for criminals to get access to your information especially if you don't change your password. So you got to do it, and the end of the year is the best time to do that. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you to find out ways I can help you with your end of the year technology uh, checklist. And also, if there's other tech tips that I can help you with, uh, please leave comment section in comments in the comment section below. I always have to ask, so if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and tell all your friends about it if I can get this graphic up there. There you go. Wrong way. There you go. Check that out. Be sure to like and subscribe and tell all your friends and make sure they're doing their year in due diligence when it comes to technology. So I love technology and I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.